Rhys Williams, farm manager for Paddock Farms Limited. We are currently milking 1,500 head of cattle, 1,001 units and just under 500 on another unit, all spring calving. We've been going on the main unit now for seven years and on the other units we've been going two years. Both farms have been converted from beef and sheep to a kiwi style spec milking farm. We've been using the boluses now for four years, mainly on the young stock from calves up to bulling heifers and we've been putting boluses in dairy cows as well for the last two years on one farm. What were the reasons for starting to use the tracial COI boluses? We were looking for an easy and cost-effective way of, of getting minerals into young stock. On the thin, we know we, we're deficient in cobalt and selenium, and the boluses seemed a good way of actually addressing that deficiency. What health issues did you have in the herd before you started using the boluses? On the young stock, we did do quite a lot of bloods on the young stock, and we found there were deficient in cobalt and selenium. How does it present itself in the stock when you have a deficiency in cobalt? Stock that are not thriving, just not growing the way you'd like them to grow. They just look weaker animals. We bolus them about 12 weeks of age, first of all with a triple pack. We bolus them then going into the winter when they go on kale crops and then they get another bolus just before bulling and then they'll get another one just before the, their second winter as in calf heifers going on onto crops again. What are the main benefits that you've noticed? Very healthy stock, stock thriving, always hitting target weights, growing to what we expect them to grow really. You mentioned the kale, is it important that stock get a supplement when they're on a green crop? Yes, iodine especially, iodine is hugely important on kale and especially for the, for the in-calf heifers, you know, selenium is hugely important as well. You've got a large herd here. Do you think there are advantages in giving a bolus when you've got a lot of stock so that you know that each of them have had what they need in terms of trace elements? Yes, definitely. I find on the farm we do bolus the dairy cows. But whilst we're milking, actually, they go through the crush and we'd actually, it only takes us probably a couple of hours longer to bolus them. It's quite straightforward. Do you tend to bolus at the same time as you've got another job to do with the cattle? In spring, there's a lot of vaccinations going on as well. So, yeah, if we can fit two jobs in one, then it's very appropriate. Will you continue to use the boluses? Yes, yeah, yeah. What do you feel that they've brought to your business? Probably the biggest thing is the simplicity involved in them. Just the peace of mind as well. When you have a, a large number of stock, you, you want to do a job and know it's going to be done well. That's probably the biggest thing about it. Going back to the ease of management again, and good, healthy, thriving stock. At this precise moment in time, I can't see us doing without the bolts.